Okay, welcome back to another block lesson. This is Coder J from the JCS Computer Science Channel. We're going to be working on bucket sort here now. So you're here on the JCS Computer Science Channel designed to deliver to you as much information as possible within computer science. We're here to increase your learning capacity in as many iterations as possible. I'm in the virtual computer lab every day, gathering more and more information as things evolve from moment to moment. I belong to the science department on the second floor of the admin building. My name is Coder J. This is the virtual space right here where we harness that knowledge. This is where we're going to solve the bucket sort algorithm. So at this point, we are here to solve this. We need to put what's in that list this is python that we're using we're using a bridge language called english here in the virtual space to solve this so let's continue with this algorithms course let's look at bucket sort algorithm from within the space we need to sort that list okay 0 0.78 these are decimal numbers all the way to 0 Point two one, right? So we need to be able to sort that list, bucket sort. As you can see, there is a type of you know type of uh, collection below it. Those are links. So we're going to uh, work on that data structure similar to a linked list. So we worked on linked lists, so they are a type of links. So starting at zero all the way to seven is, is where we are right now. So the length is approximately eight, but we do need another, remember we, we're gonna index using zero. So we do need another link, if you will. And that is eight, which makes nine. Nine buckets, if you will. Okay. So let's see. So the position that we want to sort is zero dot x. So X is the position that we're targeting to help us sort this collection, okay? So it's the first decimal place, if you will. Now we're looking to, to sort using bucket sort. Okay, so we're gonna look, put them in those links here and solve this. So our first value is 0 0.78. So the seven is treated as any, like any value, right? And what we wanna do is put seven in the seventh position of the linked list, okay? So I'm here in the virtual computer lab with my team uh, next to some research scientists, okay? On the second floor of the admin building. And we're going to go ahead and solve this right now with you. Go ahead and poke around the site. See what you can do to support the channel. Make yourself at home as we solve this algorithm. My name is Coder J. This 0 0.78 x equals 7. So it goes into the seventh slot of the list. Okay the seventh link, which is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, is 0 0.78. Okay, 0 0.78 goes there. 0 0.17 goes here. Okay, 
so if we look at it and we come back around, we traverse the list, we realize 0 0.72 is less than 0 0.78. So we make a link for the list, like a link list, and point to another node. Okay. All right, we'll make it a little longer. All right, so zero dot seven eight zero dot seven two index six. Zero dot one seven Okay, traverse the list. We're gonna we'll be do, doing this in Python here in a second. We have a nine four. Okay, so we can work our way down, right? So one seven, traverse the list. Zero dot two one. We'll point out to zero dot two six as we traverse the list. Okay, so there is zero dot two six. So one seven two one two six. Work your way all the way down at this point. We'll traverse from the top all the way down. 0 0.39. This is bucket sort, the bucket sort algorithm. There's no fourth position given X, okay, there's a fifth position, no. Is there a sixth position? Traverse the list, no. Is there a seventh position? Yes, seven, two, seven, seven, eight. Is there a eighth position? No. And there's a ninth position, yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now we have a sorted list using bucket sort. So 0 0.17, 0 0.21, 0 0.26, 0 0.39. Traverse, 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 0 0.72, 0 0.78, traverse, 0 0.94. So that is the bucket sort logic. It uses X. Okay, the decimal place here, the first decimal place, to sort using a linked list. This is bucket sort in the virtual space of the virtual school system of the JCS Computer Science Channel. I'm Coder J. This is bucket sort. So now we're going to work on solving this bucket sort using Python. Okay. Okay, welcome back. We're in the Python REPL to solve bucket sort. My name is Coder J. We are in the admin building on the second floor. Okay, I'm with my team. Let's continue. We're going to work on Python. We're going to solve it using the Python programming language. So I'm here to, you know, increase your learning capacity one iteration at a time. Okay, you know, as much as we can, right? So let's go ahead and define a function. This is bucket sort. So we're going to simply utilize our syntax, okay? Okay, and we have a 
we were looking at, you know, we solved it already in the virtual space. So we want to be able to say, okay, what's our max value? And the max val the max value as we traverse over. So in the range let's increment that value by one. Okay? Then let's increment let's go ahead and loop through the next part of the list while collection of i is greater than nothing let's swap okay and work on uh, swapping uh, through that linked list, so, you know, visualize what we just did. So this is just a swap if a value is, you know, less than or greater than the next value in that decimal place. So A is our collection, N is our length, we, we're looking for the max, B is our temporary variable, we're iterating through, um, if we are greater than zero, then we could swap those elements. Uh, what we just did is what Python translates to right now in code. Okay, call equals 0 0.79. Let's get some values in here. 0 0.23, 0 0.14, uh, 1, 2, 0 0.45, 0. Dot, let's just grab these values 0 0.54, 0 0.21. Okay, and that'll work. And then uh, n equals length or length equals line of call and let's print uh, the collection let's call bucket sort and then print the hopefully the sorted collection uh, which is essentially a list. So let's see if we can get this thing solved on the JCS Computer Science channel with Coder J here. So I went ahead and brought the decimal point over one to help with the type conversion for some uh, efficiency at this point. Uh, we'll get the type, type conversion later on in uh, a different course. But this should demonstrate bucket sort. Uh, and targeting those decimal places moved over one place. Uh, so the logic is the same as we see a sorted collection. So, you know, visualize this is bucket sort. And I'm Coder J. See you next time.